Today we're going to take a look at the presentation files in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, little known um, objects that I've seen in here is this filter under the presentation file. So just generally creating a presentation file, uh, most people know how to do. You can uh, animate your objects, do an automatic explode. Um, you can even add different cameras such as this so it moves around, um, which is very nice. Uh, by expanding this view, you can actually um, reorder um, some of the values or some of the components uh, and what sequence that they run in. But a little known one is um, actually under this filter, by looking at assembly views um, or the uh, tweak view or um, the one we're interested in today is the sequence view, uh, we can actually go ahead and add uh, assembly constructions to this, which will be very useful downstream. Uh, so let's take a look at um, underneath our view. Once it's uh, been exploded, we can look at uh, the task itself. Now under the task, you can create multiple tasks or one task is this one. And then as the sequence go, you can actually uh, add different uh, operations or, and descriptions underneath here. The nice thing about using that or utilizing that is that we can pass this downstream using the uh, Autodesk Dwif technology. So let's go take a look at how we would um, create that. And real quickly, uh, we would just go ahead and uh, maybe create a view. Um, we'll keep it under, under the same one um, and go ahead and create a view of this whole thing. Now with this, what we could do is uh, tweak a couple of components. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and grab one and grab a direction, uh, maybe pull it out a little bit. And then do the same thing uh, with another one. So regardless of how these are, we have a couple of uh, tasks set up in a couple of sequence. So if I go ahead and add the, or edit the sequence, I can look at sequence the different sequences of here. So sequence, if I bump through it, um, it'll actually... Uh, animate and show me which way it'll go. Um, I can also set the camera in here. So um, in sequence one, um, I could actually uh, you know zoom up on an item and hit set camera and apply. Uh, sequence two, I can maybe zoom out a little bit, set that camera and apply. And then also I could add um, text to that as well. So in sequence one, notice the camera moves. Sequence two, it moves out. So let's say in sequence one, so I'll say um, you know, add bushing and apply. And then sequence two would be add nut or something of the sort there and apply. So now once I get that and I go ahead and animate it, you can see it'll animate towards my camera, add the bushing, sequence one, sequence two will go out and add the uh, nut itself. So now looking at that further downstream, we can actually check out uh, to see uh, what it would look like in uh, the DWF format. So now you can see here that I've outputted that uh, final design over to uh, the DWF format and Autodesk Design Review. I can go ahead and uh, view this animation along with my assembly instructions. So you see if some uh, customer or uh, another employee were to, to view this, he would see his actual, uh, what he needs to do here, as well as his bill of material um, that he needs, as well as his uh, camera applications. I hope this helped you out today with uh, another one of our sessions of uh, Autodesk Inventor. Thanks.